Rock and roll had become a bit ponderous by the mid-70s, all those hippie concept albums, but something new was happening, a back-to-basics music that was often smart, sometimes snotty, but usually informed by sick humour with an air of existential disappointment. Also, you didn't have to go to a stadium and pay through the nose to see it. The young kids who were fucking shit up in the smaller, grungier venues went largely unremarked upon. Meanwhile, from his vantage point in the stately Granada Tower high atop Manchester's West Central section, shy retiring young Oxbridge-educated journalist Tony Wilson, later to start up Factory Records on the Hacienda, persuaded Granada to give him his own programme, So It Goes, which would give the likes of the Sex Pistols and the Clash a wider airing. Nearly 40 years on, we've plundered the vaults to bring you the best. It's a cracking lineup this evening. Godfather of punk, Iggy Pop, the inspiration for many of the new young British bands, will be pushing his bad self. Before that though, the Heartbreakers tell us how it all began in New York's East Village. But first, here are the Pirates, formerly Johnny Kidd and the Pirates. Three men entirely convinced that what they're doing is the right thing. Because it's plain to see How can I tell the way you're looking at me? The way you smile and hold my hand Pretty baby, I can understand Here's how I tell, here's how I tell And to resurface like that, you need two things, talent and good management. Good, good management is a very rare commodity in rock music. You can't buy it, and mostly you can't even find it. The Pirates, featuring the colossus that was Mick Green on electric guitar. I'll say it in one word, shaking all over. Seems like only yesterday, could be tomorrow, but today...